Hey guys, it's Mondays with Sam here, and today we're talking about dealing with unsupportive friends and family. Uh, quick update, sorry for not uploading for the past few weeks. I've been really crazy busy with school and homework, and I came down sick, and it's just not good. And I'm sorry that I won't be able to edit this video the right way that I want to, because I... I'm still crazy busy with projects and term papers and working and all that fun stuff. So this is going to be in one take, so pardon my uh, stuttering and pardon random awkward pauses as I try to think of what to say. <clears throat> Alright, so unsupportive family and friends is something that I know a lot about from personal experience. And it can be pretty tough to not be accepted by your family or friends and to not feel like your gender identity is validated. Oh, here's my dog. Hi, Yazi. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, it really sucks not... It really sucks not being able to completely be yourself around family. And I'm actually in a situation right now where my family's coming along. They're starting to accept me a little bit more. And... Sorry. I, think, I keep thinking someone's coming. So my family's starting to support me a little bit more. And even though they don't understand it, they said they love me no matter what which is awesome, but I'm in a situation right now where I'm going off to college and I was thinking about starting tea. And so I discussed this with my parents and I realized that that's probably going to have to come to a standstill at this moment because not only are they still tr getting used to me, uh, my college fund it was set up by my extremely homophobic Catholic priest of an uncle and my extremely conservative religious grandparents. And without their money, I won't be able to go to college. So if I transitioned, I could risk them taking the college fund away from me. So right now my transition's at a standstill, kind of sucks, but hey, you live with it. So so how to deal with unsupportive friends and family? First of all, you choose your friends. You can choose your friends, so get rid of the unsupportive ones, because those that mind don't matter, and those that matter don't mind. With family, I would say try to reason with them, try to talk to them, try to alleviate their fears. If it gets violent, obviously, you need to take the proper precautions, call the police, and get help, because no matter what, you don't deserve to be abused. And the way I went through with it at the beginning when my family was really, really being homophobic is I just would always have my headphones in whenever I was around them so I wouldn't hear any of their comments I'd always have headphones in oh I thought it stopped I always have headphones in and I was always listening to music and I was basically just kept to myself and went over to friends house as much as possible until they decided that they were gonna come around and they were open to learning about who I was and that's what you should do too I mean it's gonna take your parents time just like it took you time to really understand and accept yourself so give them time and and in some cases it doesn't get better but in most cases it will and who knows you know you could end up having an extremely supportive family and you could have sworn that they were the least supportive people on the planet. So don't be afraid to talk to your family and 
have them ask you questions, answer any of their questions, and be, and make sure you're polite about it. And second, just try to avoid talking about it, avoid com their comments, and just kind of let things settle down. Because everything's going to work out in the end. So that's about all I have to say about this topic. Sorry I haven't I didn't go more in depth. I'm in a complete hurry cuz I need to get to work. So I will see you next week with a normal video and hopefully I will have time to edit it and to get in everything I want to say. So that's it. All my links are down below as usual. And feel free to add me and subscribe to my channel. And until next week, see you guys.